Our next little fellow is our little jack-o'-lantern. The first thing I did was paint the face on it. Uh, you'll probably find you have to use acrylic paint, so make sure that the children have paint aprons on so that they don't get the acrylic paint on them because the acrylic paint will stain it, will not come out. Okay, then I took the scissors and I poked holes, poked holes like that. And I took a, a paintbrush and pushed the hole in like that. Then I put the pipe cleaner in. Now, if you have younger children that are doing this, you can always get the grade 8 class to come in or one of the older 6, 7, 8s to come in and help the guy, help the little ones out with their, their, their legs for their uh, spider jack-o'-lantern. And they can choose the color that they like. And then you just take the the pipe cleaners like this and find the hole, put the pipe cleaner in, bend it, and that gives you your spider jack-o'-lantern. There's something else that we can do with this too. We can take white glue, white glue like this, your white glue that you have at school, and you can take it and you can mix it with food coloring and then pour it over the top. And I'm going to do that next to show you what it'll look like. And then you can sprinkle your glitter on it. So in just a second, I'll get that ready and show you. So the first thing I did was I put some white glue in this little container. Then I added some green, a couple drops of green food coloring. And then you stir it. So you have glue with green food coloring in it and you take it and I'm going to drop it right here on my jack-o'-lantern spread it around and let it go actually you can drop it however you like if you want to make it look like a spider web you can or if you just want some in the center like I have, you can do that too. Or if you want it to come out like a star, you can shape it out like a star and just let it drip down. Okay, so that's how you do it. That's glue and food coloring, white glue and food coloring, liquid glue. Then you take your glitter Oh dear, okay. You can have your regular glitter that you shake or you can have this type of glitter and you put the glitter on the top of it. This is the squirting kind of glitter to make fine effect. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? See what it looks like on the top? Now that will spread out. As, and you let that dry overnight. The best kind of glitter that you can use is the kind that you, you shake rather than the kind that I use that I squirt it on with. So buy your, your green glitter like that that you just sprinkle on like that and shake it over the top rather than the uh, the squirting kind like this and there you have it there's your jack-o-lantern here. here's a closer look at the glitter and the glue that you spray on and you sprinkle on For our next craft, what the children do is they take wallpaper and they trace their hand and they cut it out. This is for the little guys. Then they glue it on and then they glue on different color fingernails and they glue on seeds. And there they have their witch's hand or their skeleton hand, just like that. Okay, this one is our lantern 
so that they can hang up by the handle and the handle can be green or black or brown and the children can hang it up or carry it around and what we've done is we've taken a piece of orange paper like this it's just the small size it's not the large piece it's the 8 by 11 you take it and you fold it in half and then you cut you cut strips like this through there like that and then you take it and you turn it lengthwise like this and you staple the ends at the top like that together and you staple the other end together like that and then you put on your your handles and your face and that gives you your hanging lantern and it looks like this when you're finished.